we are in the context of eliminating or reducing the impact of my own vasana and of course it's not that easy to destroy or completely eliminate my vasana because it's a continuous process but i need to work on consciously carefully without any rest without any holiday to make sure that the vasanas will not have any chance to take over me at any moment if the vasana takes over me at any moment definitely there will be some type of fluctuation in me in my life and again to come back i have some type of bitter experience whether that bitter will be better or not definitely some wound and later on some scar will be there there is no doubt in it so that's why the shastra shastra karas also true all the prakarana karas all the acharyas do highlight this methodology of teaching differently to make sure that one should work with one's own vasana contextually morning also bhagavad gita 6 chapter same vasana here also now same vasana from different angle can you see how nicely goes same teaching different way different way, but communicates the same thing in bhagavad gita dhyana yoga this chapter talks little differently here is being talked entirely differently how let us look at the verse number 282 annadana visargabhyam hi sanasti kriya mune तदेकनिष्ठया नित्यम् स्वाध्यासापनयन कुरो सो हियर ए ब्यूटीफुल कॉन्सेप्ट इज बीइंग ब्रॉट हाउ द पर्सन शुड डू द स्वाध्यास अपनयन so put putting all these vasanas putting all these impressions into an end so that they will not have strength to pull me or push me and here he gives this idea the example of a food generally food is one of the most important factor now i recollect this elderly man i don't know whether he is alive or not i don't think he will be alive now so when i was you know a teenager growing up and all these things so this elderly man used to say me very nicely how to recognize a person whether is animal or not I said I don't understand. Remember, I was a child. You know, these are the things I was learning. Okay, and remember, this is only when I was thirteen, fourteen year old boy. Okay, <laughs> this is not my learning. I said no, I don't know. It's very simple. Look at the person, how it eats. There are many people eat after eating, after some. Oh! Again, they bring back and chew it. <laughs> so that means you can close your eyes. You can say that person is a cow or ox. <laughs> so how the cow keeps eating then time comes brings back and starts chewing like that he person was you know trying to communicate to me differently i 
actually because of that reason to be very honest i try to look at my way of eating i try to see that how i am eating and in the process what happens even if there is some good food and of course the tongue taste everything you know will push and of course vasana will push later on say if you eat little uh, again it will come so if i start to eat that means i become animal becomes conscious i am not telling you jokes i have gone through very tough time sometimes i wanted to eat more but i cannot eat what i am highlighting here is food is one of the most important factor for a person any in fact if you want to observe a person observe a person through two ways one is having food and also allowing the person to use restroom this is my way of handling okay i'm sorry in fact i am told especially some of the universities like bhut and other universities they have this you know interview system before getting admission into this both especially and other other universities also are there like that they you know one of the alumni will try to interview you means a student so when that person interviews you means no interview not because the person will get suppose you are let us say in uh, delhi so delhi there will be some people then they will get connected to you so can we have a cup of coffee very casual meeting remember that person's recommendations recommendation or input matters for your admission so when you have a cup of coffee how you approach whether you are on time or before time there is anxiety or not that person will be very professional very cool because after all he must be some big fellow and he will not give his identity at all just only identity is i am ex alumni just i wanted to talk to you because i got a message for your admission that's all and the person has to go through this interview system and of course is very confident sir then based on that the person will write because there they try to understand you how you move in a cup of tea or cup of coffee you cannot decide anything on the table but it matters a lot like that in life food is most important factor just look at you personally observe this point with reference to food in life next to sex food is one of the most important factor where all the five sense organs are involved in food eyes are involved the color and form form of the food for example your best favorite is idli for example or dosa or vada i pongal vada i whatever okay <laughs> so all south india or pasta pizza i have to change okay i have taken up all audience okay <laughs> but the look is not good will you like it the pizza comes you know broken here and there cracked will you like it but i comes you know in a funny way not colorful will you like it so that means what the color and form is more important so that means food color and form also is important 
smear of course from a distance okay <laughs> And here is also involved, you understand? Other people should talk good about the food. Then, of course, a touch, the texture, you understand? You cannot keep quiet, even though you are supposed to use in pizza case a fork and a knife, still, yeah, you touch. How is the texture, you understand? <laughs> so, touch also is there. And of course, the tongue, the taste bud also is taken care. So when all these five sense organs of perceptions are involved in food, food plays a bigger role in our life. In fact, all our subconscious mind is reflected is being exposed without our knowledge while having our food. That's why one of the most important factors is one has to be extremely careful while having food. Because basana to handle, remember this point. If you want to really overcome your basana, that the vasana should not, do you know, make me too pull or push or govern me. First thing is I must work with my food habit and way of eating and all related to food. All to have food. With reference to the smell, what happens to me? While eating, how I carry myself? After eating what I do, all these things please try to observe very carefully. Why? Because if this makes a difference, if your food habit makes a difference or creates a difference than the other way of functioning, that means your vasana is very strong, not necessarily related to food, related to many things. That one has to be very careful. This is what is being pointed out in this verse, very subtle way. So what is being taught here? That it is being taught very nicely. Anadana visarga bhyam. So whether you are accepting the food, means eating, or rejecting, when rejecting means different ways, okay, there is a vomiting sensation, you don't feel comfortable, or in different ways you try. Now, no asti kriya mune, it doesn't create that much difference, and the muni, a contemplative person, does not look at that as an action. Means it does not really create any difference to the mind in the mind of a person. Because food has to be there, food will be coming. Why to bother? Bhiksha usadam bhujyadamiti. Morning same talk was there, same thing I am repeating now. The usadam, the food becomes like usadam medicine. But don't worry, if you eat only food, don't worry, you have to also consume not food as a medicine, medicine as a food. Nowadays people eat medicine as a food, you know, morning breakfast this much, <laughs> okay, this much and dinner this much. And if this is not sufficient, you understand, <laughs> injections and what not. So here is being very carefully said, the food must not be a primary action in your life. Especially I observe ladies and Indian ladies that too more complicated and western ladies are, are more complicated in different way. Each one has got their plus point minus point, okay? So let me start with the Indian ladies. Indian ladies only in the kitchen, at least not for their sake, for other sake, and finally whatever remains, so that becomes their dustbin, okay? So, every Indian lady is basically dustbin, they eat 
you understand? Why to throw? Keep eating it. This is the Indian ladies' attitude. Western ladies, what they do is, they have plenty of time. They will have gossip, do everything, everything but they will not cook properly. All the processed food will be there. This is the Western ladies, okay? Not necessarily in Western region, in Indian way also. Western, West thinking of ladies, okay? <laughs> All teen foods this that like for example simple thing I really don't like it personally I can say my pour out my frustration this is an occasion I can pour out okay <laughs> because whenever I get a chance I never this miss this okay remember this <laughs> it's like you know this tomato sauce okay <laughs> hey look. To make a tomato sauce, means like for example in pasta or anywhere, to make a fresh tomato sauce takes hardly 3 minutes or 5 minutes. And what a beautiful taste. No, tea is nothing like that. You pay more, horrible taste. No, the texture will not come. You understand? The ladies are so crazy for the texture and easiness. My hands should not go wrong. You understand? My nails should not go wrong. Mamma mia! Please. <laughs> anyway, joke apart, coming back here. So the food pattern or while consuming food, I must not see or create a difference in me. Please understand. If there is a difference in me, only I can understand. That means, not only related to food, my vasana is strong, but also related to many things, my vasana is equally stronger. So first, let me seriously work with my food. And he says, look, Munehi, tat ekanishthaya nityam iti, the one who is avoiding for example, forget about arriving with Atman. Suppose your mind is fully occupied. There is some worry, a real some worry, some anxieties. You are sitting for food. What is being served? What is not being served? Will you be able to look at? You will not bother. Okay, let me eat something and get out. Because mind is fully occupied. So there the occupation is very instinct and is very, let us say, natural. Here, consciously you work on. So if I am dwelling upon me as the totality, me as Brahman, definitely food will not create that much impact. Whatever comes, let me eat. If that does not mean that you will eat the number, do you know? Uh, what is not food, okay? Please, God's sake. Because remember, what you eat, that you become, okay? So don't make yourself as dustbin. That also you have to be very careful, okay? God's sake. I request all of you, never ever become a dustbin. That's not right at all. However, let us go to the next. If you people don't mind, I will take a little break. Tattva Masyadi Bakyotham Bakyotha Brahmatme Kattva Bodhataha Brahmanyatma Tvadadhyaya Vadhyasa Panayanam Kuru Okay, Swamiji, you are very interesting at the same time, very painful sometimes. There is nothing to do in life. You have destroyed many things. Now, little bit interest we had for food also that you are attacking. Now, tell me, what is there in life? What do you want exactly? Allow us. 
go. Whatever we are doing, hey, remember, I am not interested in you. When I am talking, I am talking for myself, okay? <laughs> so if you are being benefited, fine. If you are not being benefited also, I don't have any issue, okay? <laughs> so the teaching is for me reflection. I make it very clear with you all, number one. But don't worry. Life is not all about excitement. If I am excited with reference to anything or anything, anything or anybody, definitely, I will be also depressed or I can say also I will feel bad with reference to same person sometime or other. Same thing or other. It's like, if you love a person, definitely you will hate the same person. And of course, to whom you hate, don't worry, sometime or other you will love. Only is a matter of time, a matter of situation, a matter of expression, whether you express or not. As you know, beautiful example, this couple relationship, this is my favorite example, okay? Every couple, they love too much, they hate it too much. Because without love, there cannot be hatred. And without hatred, there cannot be love. Remember this. This is common people thinking, okay, living. So don't worry. So everything goes hand in hand together, okay? Love and hatred always continues. So here, you have to understand this and don't look at that. Try to improve. So don't look at food matter. Food will come. Cherish, enjoy. If it comes good, doesn't come better. As you know, a long back, somehow those things I had done it nowadays, I really, I do not know how did I and where did I pick up all these things those days. Like, you know, <clears throat> I had, you know, this, uh, where to get food and how to get food. Like, especially when you are moving. And I used to, you know, visualize it from a distance. In this village, I will have food and which house also I will have food, I will be able to say. And God's grace, I had never failed. I had never, never failed. If I have visualized, I will have in this house. Whatever it may be, I have come across, they have, you know, scolded me, sent me away. And I will leave you. Okay, thank you. I am sorry. I will leave you. Then after that, they will be running behind me, call me back. Okay, with great difficulties, you know, what hell I have gone through also. What I am highlighting here is, this food is something will come to us. And when you are putting nothing wrong in it, cherish, but don't only think of food, food and food. That's why, what you need to do here? He says, Tattam asi adi bakyo So, when he says, look, so the understanding that comes out of the statement Tattva Masi, you are that and also many other Aham Brahmasmi, Pragyana Brahma, all the teaching in short. Where the teaching communicates, highlights that the Jivatma is a Paramatma. There is no difference between me, the individuality and the totality. And what happens? Brahma Atme Kaptva Bodhata. That's why this it only reveals this, the identity between the Jivatma and the Paramatma. And what you need to do? You need to strengthen the identification with the totality, not with individuality, with insecurity. Generally, when we get up, And whatever we do, in fact, we get up with insecurity. Just observe yourself. Today morning, when did you get up? And how did you get up? Generally, a common person wakes up with insecurity. Have you not observed this? The day you have to catch a flight, that day you don't sleep. Why? I may miss the flight. And there are people, okay, I don't want to say, because all my attacking is okay. Do you know? 
थ्री आवर्स बिफोर यू हैव टू गो एंड वेट इन द एयरपोर्ट मामा मिया ए वाई कैंट बी देयर इफ इट इज 45 मिनट्स बिफोर टू रीच वन आवर फॉर 15 मिनट्स इज वेरी बिग ग्रेस पीरियड ओके नो 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 ए डोंट वरी इन द टुवर्ड्स द एंड स्पेशल नो नेयर पर ऑन नो नेयर पर ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड नो नेयर पर टू गो टू बाद एंड सेकंडली दे विल कॉल यू टुवर्ड्स द एंड एनीबॉडी इज गोइंग टू गो टू दिस फ्लाइट then you have a privilege to break the queue you understand <laughs> this i love it okay i'm sorry to say <laughs> go right on the dot or 5 minutes late the moment you reach in check in counter if you are um, do you know traveling in business absolutely no problem even if you are economy they will call you anybody is going to go to this uh, then you break the queue and go there oh You are a privileged person, however, but what happens there? The insecurity possesses me. Can you see this point? I may miss. So the more I am insecure, the more anxiety I have in me. Can you see this point? So my anxiety is completely connected with my insecurity. and in secret of what what will happen to me the next what people will think of me <laughs> this two types okay what will how i will be able to manage what is this now it's a really imaginary insecurity so that's why here has been highlighted a common person wakes up with insecurity Works to strengthen insecurity without the knowledge. Now look at yourself from morning till now. Apart from the class, whatever you have done or you are doing, is it to face manage your insecurity or strengthening to strengthen your insecurity? Be honest. What are you doing? Morning till now, whatever you have. is it to manage your insecurity or without your knowledge you are strengthening your insecurity i'll tell you be honest most of the cases if you observe from morning till now without your knowledge you have strengthened your insecurity you have supported your insecurity while taking care of insecurity you are only strengthening it which is not healthy i so here he says don't associate yourself with the insecurity but associate yourself with the understanding can you see the difference when you associate yourself with understanding understanding of what understanding that me as the totality me as brahm me who is ever secure then you will see what automatically no worries and anxieties can take over no vasanas can push you that's why atmatva dradhyaya you need to work on strengthening your identification with the totality the brahman the understanding is to be continuously work and once that is been done you will discover the small small things will not matter much let us look at next aham bhavasya dehesmin निशेष विलयावधि सावधानी नुक्तात्मा स्वाध्यासापयनायन कुरो अहम भाव 
So always I have a notion. And what is that notion? Notion related to me, I notion. I have done, related to me. I want to do, I am insecure. Always me, me and me. What is called me, me, me is me, me, me. You understand? And what is that me, me, me? This is goat. This is a very good example, okay? Goat, before getting chopped, it will be fed very nicely, okay? With a food, nice garland, lot of things they do it. It's a nice example, okay? That's why whenever anybody puts a garland or respects, you have to be extremely careful. Maybe you are not going to be killed, means ready for the sacrifice, remember? I'm not telling you jokes. Anywhere anybody praises you, you have to be extremely careful. Something seriously wrong, especially that we see. Which I have done also personally, not that I have not done, okay? As a child, when you want to get something from mother, what do we do? Praise the mother nicely. <laughs> and what to praise, how to praise? Every mother in those days we had, and nowadays things have changed. Talk about maternal, her maternal place. Her parents' place, you understand? Then you will see, she will be very happy. <laughs> so once she is happy, then get your work done, you understand? <laughs> Sometimes they understand and they don't understand. That's another point, okay? And look at yourself. I'm sure knowingly or unknowingly you must do, you are also doing, you must be doing the same thing, okay? Whether you do or not, that's if you are not doing, you are a great person. I respect you. Okay, I have done. That's why I am sharing you. Okay, <laughs> what I have done, I am sharing with you all. Now, anybody praises you, be careful. But deep within, what you look for? Everybody should praise me. God's sake! Never ever look for praising from anybody. God's sake! And especially from nearer ones, remember this point. If any nearer ones, nearer ones praises you, that means seriously wrong. Some plan is going on, you understand? <laughs> Papa, you are very good. Tell me what you want. <laughs> However, this goat, how it does me, 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 same thing also, we always do me, 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 it is mine, it is mine, me, 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 you understand? More we do me, 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 more we invite problem for ourselves. In fact, more we are mentally unstable. The more we keep the hands open, the more we enjoy life. It really happens beautifully. That's why it says, Aham Bhavasya Dehes Min. So this I know some, as long as is there in this body or related to this body. That long there will be problem. So what is to be done? Sabodhanana Yuktatma Being Identifying or identifying one's own self with the Atma or you can say with a mind which is a really very good mind, you need to savarhan with alertness, with carefulness. You need to remove this ambhava, this I notion. You need to work on, you need to separate it. You need to create a distance between me and my body and related to body. Nishesha bali, very good, Nishesha bali avadhi. Till it is completely destroyed or no remains remain. Because if a little bit is there, then it really comes back, bounces back. That's why what we do is, first thing is, whatever is, <coughs> sorry, in my body or directly connected to body, that is me. Then next extension goes, that is re related to the body also me. The best example is, 
Specs actually is very personal, no problem. Look, because I depend upon the space. Now, if anybody touches my specs, I go crazy. Another thing also they say very nicely, I do not know how far it is to, I don't subscribe. Not the ball pen, the, all the other nib pen, okay? Many people don't like to give or share their pen. Ball pen, no problem. Those days it was their pen because they said, no, I, uh, okay, this is also partial true. I do agree, I don't deny. Because each one starts writing in a way. So when you start writing in a given way, then what happens? The need is getting adjusted according to that. If other any other person takes and uses a little bit, then later on when you use, there will be some type of, you know, scratch. Some sound comes. That's also I have observed this point. That's why they don't give the pain to others. Okay, I understand. You cannot give that pain. I really respect nothing wrong. But what is there in ball pain? Ball pain has nothing to do with it. You get the point what I'm trying to say. But mm, it's mine. Nobody should touch mine. You understand? How this thing happens? So, in short, I extend my insecurity to not only to the body, also related to the body. And my way of thinking is that more I am having people or things, more I feel that I will be secured. In reality, I become more insecure. That's why what is to be done? Always work on how to really grow out of this. Let us read the next. Pratiti Jiva Jagataha Sopnavat Bhati Yavatam Tavan Nirantaram Vidvan Swadhyasa Panayanam Kuru Let this Contemplation, let one put effort to remove the superimposition. Till how long? Yavat, as long as this Jiva and Jagat. Sopnavat, Bhati, Tavat Paryantam. Nirantaram Vidwan Swadhyasa Aparanam Kuruiti means as long as you see Jiva and Jagat, me and the world are true. That long I have problem. So you need to continue this. Unless and until you see, you understand, me and the world is exactly like a dream. So what is a dream? Just observe this point. I will give you a beautiful example. Suppose you have seen a movie. I was trying to give another example of the movie came. You have already seen the movie or you have studied uh, means report and all these things you know in and out of the movie. And you have gone with your friends to see the movie in the theatre. There is some type of you know suspense. What is going to be next? What is going to be next? But when you know in detail. Will you bother? At the same time, being a smart person, you are not going to spoil it. Hey, don't worry, this is not even going to happen. Don't worry. That means you are stupid, okay? So what you do is, you are very calm. In fact, you try to see how the lighting, how the director is directing, whether the dialogues are okay or not. 
whether editing is done properly or not. You understand what I am trying to say? In fact, this is how I see, I, that's why I don't enjoy much. <laughs> so, only I enjoy certain movies where I have to keep my brain out, okay? <laughs> so, there are a few fellows are there, so where you don't have to keep your brain, okay? You can keep the brain outside and start watching. <laughs> Coming back to the point. So, because you know, now the ups and downs in the movie is not going to create any excitement or depression or any worries and anxiety. At the same time, you are with others, if clapping is required, you also clap. And while coming out also, you say, wow, what a movie. Because you are aware of it. Can you see this point? Whereas if you are not aware of it, then you start crying, you start jumping, you do all these things in the theater. This is a small example, you can look at many examples. Same thing also in life. My life is a movie, your each one of life is a movie. Instead of three hours, nowadays there is no three hours, it is one and a half hours, okay? Earlier in our time, three hours, three and a half hours. <laughs> Now it is one and a half hours, okay? One and a half hours, two hours in India now, maximum. But unfortunately, I, this movie is continuing. I do not know how many hours. This is the only difference. And interestingly, I am the actor. I am the director. <laughs> I am the audience. In fact, I am everything. <laughs> Can you see this point? So if I am everything, what should I do? Allow it to get unfolded. That's why, till I see that this universe and me is exactly like dream world. Dream world means what? All dream world is nothing but a projection of me. Without me, they don't survive. So also all this what? Whoever is in front of me actually is my projection. And not only my projection, that fellow's projection is me. So that is called, you know, interrelated projection. So that is what is called, as you know, air bubble. <laughs> It is understood. It's not that easy, okay? Please understand. Till it is understood, let this dhyasa apanenam continue. Please, let us look at the next. Nidraya lokavartaya Sabdadera pivismrute Kyo chitna vasaram dattva Chintayatmanam atmanim Says beautiful. How to do? Says look, first of all, there is no time for there is no specific time for contemplation. Here is just the word Nidraya Lokavartaya. And that too, Sabda Dehe Api Bismrute. Na Avasaram Dattvaiti Chintaya Atmana. If you observe, Especially when you wake up from sleep. Physical sleep itself. Many things you have forgotten. 
it takes some time slowly built up even i will not observe that that's why every day i have to sleep okay so <laughs> that at least apa for some time i forget everything so that's why here what is to be done is never ever give a chance to succumb to the forgetfulness how here forgetfulness is that me forgetting that i am atman i am brahman or total because once i do that what will happen definitely the sabda dehe the object of sound etc means all the sense objects will start take over and of course they becomes the cause of my forgetfulness and once that happens definitely not only i forget myself also my priority changes i forget many other things that's why you can see a preoccupied mind or a preoccupied person never ever remembers anything have you not observed whereas when your mind is very calm and quiet you remember anything and everything so that's why what is to be done here no avasaram dattva chintaya atmanam iti atmani never ever allow a give a chance to the mind to engross in the sound etc in the sense objects through which we will forget one soul that means always let this what do you call adhyasa apanenam continue means as you have been observing how the teaching regularly daily teaching helps you at least to be on the track if there is no improvement okay <laughs> at least there is no falling down hope so okay so i cannot say whether there is improvement or not but definitely i say no falling down correct or not do you agree this much or not okay hopefully okay <laughs> so if this teaching for one hour can make this much difference now if i try to dwell upon this teaching all the time now tell me what will happen that's why let me not give any chance to my mind then what is to be done let us look at the next verse and we'll stop it matra pitror malor dhutaham bhut sorry malor dhutam udhutam malamam samayam vafuhum चंडालूर ब्रह्मी भूय कृति भव लोक फास्ट थिंग व्हाट यू नीड टू डू माता पित्रो मल उद्भुत मलमांसमय बपी you are so crazy with reference to your body and of course related to the body now if you look at anything and everything the house that we respect the we care we do everything for what related to the body the name and fame we are crazy to protect for what again related to body in fact anything and everything is related to body or not 
all relationship is what again related to the body or not and he says what is the body <laughs> body is nothing mala udbhutam iti so impurities of what this is has come the reason or is a product of impurities impurities of whom mata pita mata pitra mother and father from their impurities this body has come out what it language is being used so that's why what you do tektwa <laughs> so you need to really give up the notion and what to do you just what chandala but you just this word chandala but there is one particular group of people we call them really as untouched sometimes do you know what is there they are like they don't have any lifestyle they can eat anything and everything so that means no lifestyle nothing only like they literally governed by their completely likes and dislikes no lifestyle what mind says they do it more is more like survival mode and that has become their lifestyle so they are called chandala generally those days they were not allowed to stay in the village in the community always they were outcasted because so that that impact should not fall on others you can eat whatever you want you can get up whatever you want you can do whatever you want anything and everything is allowed but in those days they were always being kept outside of the community the village take only that part don't look down anybody this is not the concept how they were outcasted you need to outcast yourself <laughs> this is the point to be communicated okay nothing else okay and you need to go to duram go to a safe place where you are not connected or your body is not connected so that there you get a chance to look at your vasana clear brahmi bhuya kruti bhava there you start contemplating dwelling upon the teaching and of course be or achieve your goal and what is that goal to become brahman even though there is nothing called becoming understanding itself is becoming being so be a brahman continue this we will continue tomorrow please close your eyes